You're Talking Books. I'm Michelle Martin. Have you tried to have a conversation with an individual who firmly believes that only their view of the world is correct and yours is wrong? It feels like talking to a stone. And soon the futility of a conversation not conducted on the basis of a fair exchange will take its toll. Very often one person will fall silent and refuse to give words to their thoughts. The mark of the best conversationalist I have met is the willingness to suspend their own beliefs to make way for the opening of the possibility of the meeting of two minds. My book pick for you today helps us towards that end. It's a book titled I Hear You by Donny Ebenstein. Winston Churchill once said, Courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. Active listening is but one way to repair communication, which is what is at the heart of this book. This book's full title is I Hear You. Repair communication breakdowns, negotiate successfully and build consensus in three simple steps. It provides sample scripts to just how active listeners are able to, just for a moment, step outside of themselves and their defenses to enable dialogue to flow. Whether you're dealing with a co-worker or family member or a client, this book will show you in very simple steps how to reframe the toughest situations for better outcomes. Communication breakdowns are personal. We've all been there. How can you avoid the contention in the first place? This is not an easy role to step into when one finds oneself at the center of a conflict and working to get all individuals at different ends of an agenda to the same page, which is where we must start if true negotiation is to happen. Author Donnie Ebenstein is our seasoned guide to being effective in this role. Donnie Ebenstein began his career as a student at Harvard Law School, where he was active with the Harvard Negotiation Project and the Harvard Mediation Program. He has led workshops on alternative dispute resolution and train members of the Israel Defense Forces on how to collaborate more effectively on joint patrols with their Palestinian counterparts. If you're about to have a difficult conversation, you need to read this book. Let me read you an excerpt of I Hear You by Donnie Ebenstein. What all of us need to learn is how to look at a situation from another point of view, not instead of our own perspective, but alongside our own perspective. We need to learn how to see multiple points of view at the same time. It's not a shift from wrong thinking to right thinking. It's a shift from seeing only one subjective point of view to seeing multiple subjective points of view. This is the meta skill for getting unstuck. I refer to this meta skill as acquiring a flexibility of mind. Your mind is like a muscle. The more you stretch a muscle, the more flexible and supple it becomes. You've probably seen yoga masters who through years of practice have achieved amazing levels of flexibility, allowing them to contort their bodies into all sorts of positions. A flexible mind then is one that can stretch itself into many different mental positions with ease, each time looking at a situation from a different perspective. And the increase in mental flexibility comes from practice as well. The more you stretch your mind, the more agile and flexible it will be. As you practice seeing other perspectives, your mind achieves greater flexibility and an increased capacity to see other points of view, even or especially those you disagree with. That's an excerpt from I Hear You. It's a uniquely written, insightful analysis and more importantly, practical book in its applications of how to repair communication breakdowns. The book's title again is I Hear You. It's by Donnie Ebenstein. This is Talking Books. I'm Michelle Martin.